Hello and welcome to Oracle Database Video Tutorials. In this video, we'll learn what is archive log mode and how we can enable it in our in our database. To understand archive log, we need to understand ready log first. In short, ready logs rec record all changes made to data. Ready log, log buffer keep every change made by using insert, delete, update etc. to data files in memory. When in a session a commit is performed, a process LG, uh, log writer or LGWR writes these redo, redo log buffers to online redo log files. Now when these online redo log files are filled, the log writer process begins writing to the next redo log file. In no archive log mode, when all the redo log files are filled, then the process starts over and the redo log files are overwritten. When we are in archive log mode, these redo log files are copied and placed to another destination when all the redo log files are filled. And these archived redo log files can be used in case of a failure to recover all the data. Before we begin the demo, we should keep in mind that we need to shut down our database in order to change archive log mode. So in production environments, we need to plan this change carefully and inform users beforehand to disconnect from the database. Log in to user sys as sysdba. Now check which mode the database is currently in. Select log mode from v$ database. No archive log, log mode is shown here. So we are in no archive log mode. Now issue shutdown immediate command. This will shut down the database. Type startup mount because we need to start the instance but in mount mode. So we can access data dictionary views, but database will not be available to the user. Now issue alter database archive log. If the answer is database altered, then archive log mode is enabled. Now issue database open. But first we need to shut down our database. So type shutdown immediate. Now after shutdown is complete, issue startup open command. This will open the database and users can connect to the database now.